let me start with the truth becoming an ai engineer is not easy even though the roadmap i am going to tell you is the fastest roadmap to become ai engineer but if you are not ready to acquire multiple skills and do projects then ai is not for you in fact tech industry is not for you you should go into some other field there are many other jobs available don't waste time here i saw some comments where people are saying 2024 is going as a bad year in tech especially for fresher but it's not like that job market is always like this and whenever any new generally used tech boom happen then industry take time to adjust it happened when cloud boom internet boom and now happening with ai as well also there is comparatively less hiring from january to april as compared to other months due to the end of financial year so companies have less budget for hiring naturally it happen every year it happen with me as well i am also from non cs background with tier 3 or 4 college i don't get any on campus selection because there was not a single company came on our campus and it was not only my college mistake i was also doing nothing even though i was an above average student in academics i participated in extra curricular activities as well but i don't do any project till my pre final year then in my pre final year i started doing projects acquired skills applied for hundred of companies i went to every single tech company website i know at that time applied on their career pages message every single connection on linkedin and out of them only few respond that too in negative but i keep applying and one fortunate day got mail from infosys where i got my first job off campus we will talk about it later but the logic is to get that one fortunate day you have to work hard throughout the year i can guarantee that 80% of the people who are watching this video don't even know a single programming language instead of acquiring skills you guys waste energy on stupid questions like which programming language i should learn java or python what are the perks of python over java learn any language but start learning don't be confused tech industry welcome confident people not confuse i clear your confusion learn python that's it period and to start with ai as well python is the first thing you need to learn just to give you an 2 minute overview on what is ai in layman language we can treat ai as a self learning system which can solve problems which generally require human intelligence to solve them like learning creation image and speech recognition understanding the real meaning behind the natural language text analysis making decision solving problems make prediction and much more but how we are going to create these self learning systems let's understand this with a real life analogy suppose you want to make a cake so to do that we need ingredients we should also know the recipe of the cake to know the overall process of using ingredients and the sequence of action to make that cake then we have to bake that cake to get the desired cake which we want similarly the ingredient for ai to create this self learning system is data and ai need massive data to learn by itself so you need to learn sql as well which help you to play with data and to properly utilize this data sets we need logic and procedure that will define how to process this data these procedure are called algorithms and for that you need to learn data structure and algorithm that is dsa and that output in the case of ai is an ai model and to make this ai model we need to train the ai model using relevant data just like we train any child the train model can then be used to make prediction or decision in new or similar situation to solve these task so we need to learn three things in the programming section here python dsa and sql and as this is the fastest roadmap video of learning ai i can give you a tip that most of the organization except some big tech companies they do not make algorithm from scratch So if you feel DSA is too complex for you you can skip going too deep in DSA but learning python and sql is must by learning this programming section both fresher and experienced professional can enter into the field of ai there are thousands of videos of python and sql available on youtube 
or if you want my recommendation go to free code camp youtube channel they have really good value study materials and videos or you can check out my videos as well i also provided some other links in the description which you can check out at the end of the video and once you are done with the three project on these programming skills mention them in the resume and start giving interviews yes you heard it right i saw most people made this mistake they never feel confident about their skills and always think that just knowing python or any single skill won't help them to get a job the answer is yes maybe you won't get a job based only on python but if you don't give interviews then i can guarantee you will not get a job so as soon as you get this programming skill reach out to hr on linkedin naukri shine or any other job portal or their career pages and don't hesitate while messaging hr or any connection or while giving interviews and even if this not work due to the process of connecting with people and in interviews your communication skill will improve and you now have some real world python fresher question i know many people who started their career just by learning sql and when you appear for the interviews request you to please post those question below in the comments so it will help other as well don't try to hide those it won't help you remember the suffering you are going through maybe someone is also going through that suffering or maybe more than you and you have the power to heal them so be kind and i will also try to make video while answering those question and post video link in the comments so everybody will get benefited before you start with ai project it is important to give some time to understand ai ml terminologies as well i will provide some link in the description don't jump to those links right now first understand full road map you understand what is ai what is ai model with that cake example so easily right so you just have to trust the process in real world most ai projects are hosted on cloud so next skill you need to learn is cloud by learning cloud many fresher enter into the field of ai including me as well i was first a python developer then i become senior cloud engineer then cloud devops lead and now working as an ai deputy manager and then again you guys get confused which cloud to learn aws azure or google cloud let me clear your confusion learn aws as it has the largest market share more real world cloud projects and its certification also has more values than other so aws is preferred or if you are already working with azure then no problem with azure as well so don't get confused and waste your energy on learning unnecessary thing so you should acquire those skill first which can help you to get a real world job and if you want to create your own road map for anything and the process which i followed to create this road map so you guys don't have to learn unnecessary thing is by understanding the process first for ai we need to understand model development life cycle this will also help you understand for which ai position you are most fit for based on your interest and number of years of experience you have the first step is planning which involves two phases business goal planning and machine learning problem framing and both of these phases are not for fresher so if you don't want to know the skills required by experienced professional which i suggest you should know you can skip to the below time step in business goal planning client and manager discuss what is the problem which they want to solve by ai and how ai can improve their business value by solving that problem also how they are going to measure the business value against a specific business objective and success criteria like if their sales increase or their customer base increase basically what they consider as in success this phase creates job like senior ai manager ai delivery manager senior consultant which generally require 15 plus years of experience so i am not going to consider the skill demanded by this phase but just to give you an overall idea i explained this in case you already have this years of experience you know what skills you need to have or to get an idea what you will become in future second phase is ml problem framing 
where the business problem is framed as a machine learning problem and decide what we need to observe and what we want our AI model to predict and how we are going to optimize performance and error metric. This phase involves positions like AI architect, AI consultant and AI manager which require 10 plus years of experience. Next phase is data processing phase where more fresher jobs are available. Most AI engineers start their career by doing data processing. As training an accurate ML model requires data processing to convert data into a usable format. So you need to learn how to collect data, analyze data, pre-process data and how to do feature engineering which is the process of creating, transforming, extracting and selecting variables from data. So this is the phase where jobs like AI data engineers, AI analysts, data analysts, data consultant, data scientists and all other data related jobs are created. Fourth phase is model development, which is core AI phase. For this, you need to learn how to build the model, train model, tune the model and evaluate the model. This phase creates positions like core AI ML engineer, AI developer, AI tester, AI tuners, prompt engineer, AI consultant, AI data trainers and much more and depend on what type of AI you are working. If you are working on generative AI, then position may be called as Gen AI engineer or similar to that. After a model is fully developed, we need to deploy our model into live production environment where we can make prediction against the model. Here you should learn about blue green, canary, AB, shadow development testing, inference pipeline, scheduler pipeline. These phase generate jobs like AI ops engineer, ML ops engineer, AI CI CD engineers, etc. Last phase is monitoring where we ensure our model is maintaining a desired level of performance through early detection and mitigation. For this phase, we should specifically learn about model explainability, drift detection, model update pipeline, this phase also generate many fresher jobs like AI support engineer, AI monitoring team, AI ops engineer, ML ops engineer, AI CI CD engineers, etc. Then you should do at least three projects on any of these sections. Yes, any one section is enough for fresher. I already have AI ML projects videos on my channel and more will continue to come in simple language. Or if you want me to cover any specific AI topic, please let me know in the comments. After you are done with one section skill and project, you should prepare your resume and start giving interviews. And don't get confused again like which template I should use. I will provide the template in the description. You can use that and make sure you include all important keywords in the resume. And if you are a fresher, then skill and the project section should start into the first one fourth of the page. Or if you are an experienced professional, then your skills and experience section should start into the first one fourth of your page. So this is the fastest roadmap for AI or in general for anything in tech. If anyone followed same roadmap or want to provide some free material link to all those who are watching this video are welcome to provide them in the comments. And after this video, don't again start searching stupid questions like what are the perks of working in Microsoft or in Google or in USA or in any European country. First acquire some skill, do some project and get a job. Once you get a job, your company will automatically give you all perks what you deserve. Tech industry is highly rewarding. I tell you my case. Even I came from not so good college but due to my skill, my company paid me well and even sent me abroad in Switzerland and take care of every single expense. I don't see any other industry paying this well in million of dollars but only to the right person, deserving person. Okay, let me end the video with a question. The very first question for any interview preparation you should know that is tell me about yourself. Write your answer in the comment section and I will give heart to the deserving answer. That's all in this video. See you guys in the next one.